how's it going? Welcome back to another video. And uh, in this one, I'm going to be going over the bash plate and the uh, and the Givy crash bars. So uh, I'm just going to take a ride up to my favourite spot and uh, walk you through it. So let's go. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm just going to be running through the crash protection that I've got on the XSR 700. Um, it's probably one of the most uh, asked about mods that I've done to the bike. Um, it's, uh, it's actually two different parts um, and I'll go through both of them in a minute. Uh, and together they actually make a really, really good um, crash protection solution for, uh, for the XSR. So the setup I've got is actually made up of two separate parts. Um, we've got the Ibex bash plate here, and we've got the, uh, the Givy crash bars. Um, and I'll, I'll put links to both of those down in the description. Now, the bit that you're, uh, you're probably most interested in is the Ibex bash plate here. Um, and this is actually for the MT-07, um, but it does fit on the XSR with a little modification, um, which I'll go through in a sec. So, the bash plate um, is made up of uh, three parts, um, the plate itself obviously, uh, the rear bracket which fits onto um, underneath the foot peg here uh, and same on the other side, um, and then a front bracket as well uh, which fits onto the right hand side of the, the engine bracket um, and behind the, uh, the reservoir at the back there. Now it's the, this bracket that actually needs a little bit of modification, um, so I'll, I'll give you a bit of a look at that now. So as you can see, I've, um, I've actually cut um, around the exhaust here um, on the bracket. And I'll try and uh, flick up a picture quickly. Um, but basically the, uh, the stock exhaust um, has got quite a big bend in it, in the header pipes, um, so it avoids this bracket. Whereas most Acropovic, and I'm not sure some other exhaust probably, um, they've actually got a slightly shallower bend, um, which means that it does clash with the bracket. Uh, but it's not the end of the world, you can cut the bracket like I have and it fits fine. So the second piece that I've got um, as part of the crash protection are these uh, Givy TN2150, I think I'll correct that if I'm wrong, um, crash bars. Now these are pretty interesting, uh, they do fit with the Ibex bash plate just about. Um, I did have to uh, bend in the bottom of this a little bit but I've heard that a couple of people haven't had to do that so, uh, so that's good. Now the, the places this mounts on um, is obviously on the engine frame here. Um, so make sure when you do fit this that you only take off one side then the other. Um, don't want the engine falling out. Uh, so fits on the engine mounts there. Um, and there's also got these bars, which are quite hard to see in a lot of the product images, um, which actually goes inside the bike here and fits onto the rear suspension arm. So that's one thing to note is if you are gonna fit this exact setup, you will need to know how to take the rear suspension off. Um, and uh, that can be quite tricky if you don't know what you're doing. And this is actually one of the places that the bike will need a slight modification. So the modification is not anything major. Um, all it is is this side cover here um, just clashes with the bar a little bit. So um, I actually haven't touched mine at all. What I've done is, is left a screw out here. Um, probably not the best idea, it doesn't look the best um, and I will fix it eventually. Um, and the fix is just to take off this silver side cover and just file a little bit away off the back because it just touches here um, and that's that. So I got the bash plate from kglracing.com. Um, they actually only listed it for the MT-07 uh, and I actually got hold of them um, and said to them it does fit on the XSR. Put a warning because, uh, because it does clash with some of the exhausts um, but there's a lot of guys with an XSR that are looking for this so uh, I thought it was a good idea for them to market it for the XSR so, uh, so you guys can find it in the future. Um, the Givy bars, uh, I actually got these off eBay. I think uh, they're, they're available all over the place. Uh, eBay, Amazon, a few different uh, motorcycle accessory shops. Um, so yeah, really great setup. And uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying seeing loads of people um, grabbing it and putting it on their bike. Uh, I hadn't seen anyone do it when I, when I got it, so it was, it was a little bit of a risk um, seeing if they fit together, and it did. Um, but to be honest, a hell of a lot of people have got hold of me and, and asked about it. And, it's really cool seeing uh, seeing so many of these going on the bikes now. So that was it, short and sweet. Um, 
just the uh, just an overview of the protection on, on the XSR 700. Uh, really good solution if you want to do a little bit of light off-roading, some gravel tracks like uh, I'm just about to do now. So um, I think I'm going to hop on the bike and uh, ride the rest of this track. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you want to see any more XSR related content and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.